Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 19. Today we are up to episode number 3 of our Let's Play series so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So yeah today episode number 3 of uh, this first series we are back here in uh, Ravensport, our farm in Ravensport, uh, and today what we plan on doing is ploughing out the fields. We've managed to tidy the yard up um, and got uh, the sheds all done, the grounds done. We've got our uh, terrible looking house. Yes, okay, <laughs> but yeah, the yard is been tidied up. We've picked up all the bowels. Um, we, if you recall, leased the front mower and the coon baler, but we did purchase the bow uh, stacker, the round bow stacker. We purchased that. That's allowed us to stack the bows up nice and neat. I think what we're going to do is uh, have both of these fields that we own as uh, grass fields for the time being, just to get into bits and pieces. Uh, we've got the John Deere uh, 6250 I think yeah 6250R is the tractor that we own and we did also purchase the IT runner base and we've also got the skip trailer on and the reason we purchased those two is because we wanted of course to remove this tree you may remember it was causing quite a few bits of problems but we've got rid of that tree now that's gone and out of the way. Uh, we will need to remove this tree stump at some point, but we're going to need some more specialist equipment for that. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, like I say, today we are going to be ploughing out the fields where the field is going to be going. So let's jump on in to the John Deere 6250R. I'm out of there. Uh, of course. To plough our field out, we are going to need a plough. So let's head up to the shop. And of course, uh, we'll purchase a plough. So, like we said, this series is going to be uh, a very long series. We are going to be doing uh, well in excess of 100 episodes on this series because we want to run this farm right from the beginning. Shop. As you can see, we've got a uh, fertilizer here because we did a couple of missions just to uh, help the system along and help some money coming in. But we'll do that again on camera at some point. Some contracting work. So yeah, like I say, we want a plow. So we're looking to the plows. Uh, we've not got a huge amount of power in this. I think the Lemkin is our best option at 300 horsepower. Uh, I can't for the life of me think how much we've got in this John Deere now. Let's have a look. Uh, where are we? The 6R. And we said it was the 650. Oh yeah, it's got a straight 300 horsepower, so we should be fine with the Lemkin. We might struggle a little bit, but uh, I think that's the best player for the job. It's $59,000. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's purchase that 4.9 <coughs> excuse me 4.9 meter wide once it's fully extended so we'll buy that which means then we can plow over fields so we can work connect it up and off we go farm of course <clears throat> that we was doing in the last episode so yeah we've got a 
this field here which is of course the grass field we do want to keep that as a grass field but what we want to do is of course join this onto this field to make one big field of course so what we want to do is to unfold this zoom in up and we want to uh, push that plough as wide as possible that's it, so that's as wide as we're going to get I'm going to drop that down there and he's of course going to dig out some of the grass which uh, is not ideal and then we allow create fields and then just plough it into that field there lift it up, turn it round because we don't need to uh, plough out the entire field certainly not uh, in one go anyway so technically all we're doing is just joining fields at the moment we are going to be ploughing out the field completely though at some point the fields do need a spread of uh, Lime. To obviously uh, help the crops grow. But again, we shall go through all of that with you, just so that uh, you can see everything that's going on. We wanted to uh, do some quite long detail on uh, some of the jobs. I think we may very well be doing a how-to series on this as well. I've uh, seen a few people's comments and searched a few YouTube videos and uh, there's quite a lot of people out there that are saying, well how do you do this, there's no guide or what's this for. People are getting quite confused with certain tools. So, yeah, we're thinking of doing a how-to series. If that's uh, something that you may enjoy, let us know in the comment section down below. Always interested to know. But, uh, for the purposes of today, we are, of course, just ploughing out this field at the moment. So to join fields it is of course very important to uh, have the allow create fields on, that allows you to plough out the actual ground. In fact what we'll do is we'll show you what happens if uh, the allow create field is not on so we're lined up where we want to be we'll start being we're going to turn that limit to fields so allow create fields is turned off so if we lower the plough of course we'll dig out the field but when you come over into the other bit it no longer digs the field so we'll lift that up, back it up now if we lower it again put on allow create fields drive over that patch of grass and there you go as you can see it digs it out so that's what the allow create fields does and how you actually plow out a field if of course you've purchased a piece of land and there's no field there at all and you want to create a field you will definitely need that option So this is going to be a pretty relaxing uh, series. We're not going to be rushing in to do everything all at once. And 
get uh, the most out of this series. Got plenty of time to do everything, so it's each episode is sort of going to focus on uh, one job, one job that needs doing uh, that day. Of course, what this, like I said, will do will allow a worker to uh, plough straight through from one field to the other without uh, having to stop. Or if uh, we've got a worker cutting grass for us, then uh, once all the grass is grown all the way through, it will course cut that grass all the way through this field so we'll come over to this edge now So, we now know where the edge of the field is as well. Drop that there again. So, I think we've got uh, wheat on this field at the moment. I believe it is wheat, could be barley. Um, but what we're going to do, like I say, is dig all that out and uh, turn it into grass. The reason we're putting this into grass because obviously we are starting to farm up, and the easiest way of building money up is, of course, selling bales, silage bales. It's always, always an easy option. So there we go. So that's the two fields joined together. <clears throat> That's uh, I'll say that problem done. I'm not sure if we should straighten this edge up now or not. I we could just there. So we'll lower that down. And create fields again just to pull that along. We'll leave that as a curved edge. Um, it's not very curved, I know, but uh, we'll leave it at that. I think these fields, if you look in the bottom right corner, yeah, it doesn't show as uh, needing ploughing. If you run over to this section here, it's showing as uh, yeah, growing wheat. And this section here that we've ploughed out is showing that uh, it needs lime because obviously there's been no uh, crop that's been put in there. So what we're going to do, limit to fields once again. I think we'll plough out all of the grass now and all of the uh, crop as well. And then in the next episode we can of course find the field. Because we've limited this to fields, if we go over the edge now, it won't actually dig out any of the field or any of the uh, normal grass. Like I say, if we just dig out the whole lot, give it a nice fresh uh, like I say, lime the ground, give it all the nutrients it needs. Of course, we will be able to uh, grow a nice fresh crop of grass in there. We then can, of course, 
uh, put other crops later on once we've uh, got ourselves established and we've got the money for harvesters, etc. <coughs> lift that up we are of course going to rotate the plough over so that we're getting the full edge of the plough the full width shall we say get ourselves suitably lined up drop the plough down and off we go again by doing this like we say it gives us uh, <coughs> that one big field to uh, cut the grass on as you can tell at the moment we are obviously a small farm couple of sheds, got a very small house with our hole in the roof, yeah, bathtubs outside. <laughs> of course, uh, as I say, we will be expanding soon, and uh, as soon as we get some extra money in and that need for more fields, afford a harvester, etc. All over the place here, what are we doing? There we go, it was the bathtub that was getting in our way. So, yeah, as soon as we've got uh, the money to expand, we can, of course, start purchasing more fields to be harvesting crops, etc. We can, uh, of course, do some contracting work, etc. And we will, of course, then expand into animals. But like we say, for today, episode number three, we're just focusing on the ploughing at the moment, getting this farm up and running. I'm hoping by... Friday's episode, our Farming Friday, we are at a position where we can just leave the crop to grow, the grass to grow, so that over the course of the weekend it will uh, then be ready to harvest the following week. Like I said, we are going to be doing an awful lot of Farm Simulator 19 squeeze that in as much as we possibly can. This week of course is all focused on Farm Simulator 19. And then we'll try and finish off the series on uh, Oakfield Farm in Farm Simulator 17. <coughs> So we can, of course, see how that one concludes. Just trying to get that plough over enough. Let's 
so you take the full width of it. So as you can imagine, this job is of course going to take us uh, some time to complete. We will of course get all that ploughed over and plough it right out over to this edge right here. We'll make a start this side. So yeah, like I say, what we'll do is we'll get this uh, all ploughed over and then in tomorrow's episode we'll be able to uh, spread lime on the uh, on the whole field, give it all a treatment of lime and then we will of course be ready to uh, plant it all up again. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll uh, I think get this build finished off. I know that uh, it can be quite tedious, long-winded to uh, get these jobs done. boring for some people I know that uh, sitting watching somebody plough field is not always the most entertaining of things to watch so what we are of course going to do is we are going to end the episode there uh, and then uh, we will get this field finished off get it all ploughed over nice freshly ploughed field. Like I said, when we come back tomorrow we'll be ready to have a nice course of uh, lime over the field. Ready of course to dig in. But uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the video so far and you've enjoyed uh, today's episode. If you have, remember to drop us a like on today's video, show your support. If for any reason that you have disliked today's video and you need to hit that dislike button, by all means do so. But uh, would you mind please just uh, commenting down below what was wrong with the video, why you had to dislike, so that uh, we can of course improve in the future. Um, and if of course uh, you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And, uh, keep yourself updated by having notifications turn on again it is entirely up to you 
but uh, if of course you could share today's video with family and friends as well again it'd be very much appreciated it does help the channel grow gets the uh, videos put out there to a lot of different people which again, does very much help and is of course very much appreciated but like we say that is going to be it for today we're going to get this build finished off but, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye for now